Hello and welcome back. We have worked on basic transformations till today. We have also seen how to work with string and date data types. Today we will look into one of the most important topics, those are sorting, union and aggregation of data frames. If you have not seen our previous videos, I would recommend you to go back and watch our playlist. I am back in my JupyterLab environment. Now, we have been working with employee data for past few sessions. Today we will just split the data into two. So we'll create two data frames called EMP data 1 and EMP data 2. I've just split the employee data into two parts. The schema of the employee data will still remain same. We will use employee ID, department ID and all other relevant columns and all the data types for those columns will still be string. I have used spark.createDataFrame in order to create both the data frames. The name of the data frames are EMP data 1 and EMP data 2. Let us quickly run through by generating Spark session and the employee data frames. Okay, the employee data frames are ready. We have two data frames called EMP data 1 and EMP data 2. And you can see the data for both of the data frames. Now, if I scroll down, you can see the sequence of the columns for both the data frames are same and the data types are also same. Employee ID string, department ID string, name and other columns are also string. Now, in both the cases, the sequence and the data types are exactly same. First, we will begin with union. Union is basically a process to combine two data frames into one, but there is one condition. All the columns from both the data frames should be same and the data type should also be same. But for union and union all to work, we also need the column sequences to be same. So if we see the EMP data 1 and EMP 2 data frame, both the data frames have same columns with the same data type. So we can easily combine both of them into one data frame using union. Let's do that. We can write EMP is equals to EMP data one dot union and we can put the second data frame that is EMP data two. If we run this, nothing happens. Let's see the data. If you see, we have combined both the data frames into one, which is EMP. Now, what is the difference between union and union all? We can also write union all and we can run the same thing will happen. We'll have the same data set. The reason is we don't have duplicates in both the data frame. If we have some records which are present in both the data frames, in case of union, there will be no duplication. Only unique or distinct records will be put into the single data frame. Now, consider a case where you have same data frames, for example, EMP data 1 and EMP data 2, but the column sequence is not same. Implies both the data frames have same columns and same data type, the column sequence is different. Can we do a union? Of both the data frames? The answer is yes and that will be the bonus tip for today. Now since we have already created our EMP data, let's write a simple sort based on the salary in descending order. So our SQL query is select star from EMP order by salary descending. In order to sort the data, we first need to import the descending function or the ascending function from our PySpark SQL functions library. Let's import that. Let's create our EMP sorted data frame from EMP data frame based on order by salary. We'll write order by and now our column for sorting is salary. So we'll write column salary dot. Now we have to sort by descending. We'll write DESC. We run this. Nothing happens. Let's see the data. If you see, our data is sorted based on salary column. We have 75,000, which is the highest one, and we have 45,000, which is the least one. Now, if you want to sort it based on ascending order, you just need to change it to ASC. And if we run, the data is sorted based on the ascending order. We have the least 45,000 in the top and 75,000, which is the highest in the bottom. Aggregations are basically one of the most important part of data analysis. We basically combine and find out a result in the process of aggregation. So consider an example where we need to find out the count of employees grouping based on the department ID. So in order to do that, first we need to import the count function from PySpark SQL functions. Let's do that. Let's write our EMP count data frame from EMP sorted data frame. 
Now, in order to aggregate, we first need to do the group by. So, we'll write group by based on department ID. Now, we need to aggregate the count of employees. So, we'll write dot agg for aggregation and we'll write count, which is our function, and put the column name, which is employee ID. Now, if we run this, Awesome, we have the count of employees based on department ID. But if you see the column name, this is count of employee ID. So is there a way we can rename this column to a proper column name? The answer is yes. We just need to put dot alias after count and we'll put the column name as total department count. See, the column name is fixed now. Let's see one more example where we'll group the data based on department ID and we'll find out the total salary as per the departments. Now we know we need to first import the sum from PySpa SQL functions. Let's write our sum data frame. We need to group by based on department ID. Now we can write our aggregation as dot agg. We can call the sum function as sum and we can put the column name which is salary. Now we know we can alias the column using alias. Nice, we have total department salary based on department IDs. You can see the sum of salaries according to the department IDs. Now, there can be a condition where we need to put a having clause. What is having clause? It is based on the aggregation. So, consider we find out the average salary for department using department ID as group I. But we are also checking that the average salary for the department should be greater than 50,000, which acts as a filter condition as well. So, to do that, first we need to import the average from the PySpa SQL function. Let's write our EMP average data frame. We'll first do the group by based on department ID. Now we'll write aggregation as dot agg and we'll call the average function based on salary. Now we got our average salary. Let's rename that. Okay, now we have our average salary. But we need to also put a filter based on the average salary greater than 50,000. So to do that, we'll just write a filter condition. We'll put dot where. Now our new column that we have generated is average department salary. So we'll write average department salary greater than 50,000. Let's run this. Nice. If you see, now we have only one, two, three, four, five, six, six departments, whereas we have total seven departments. So one of the departments might have an average salary less than 50,000. Time for bonus tip of the day. Now, if we know to do a union, we need the same columns with same data types, but the column sequence should also be same. Now, consider you have two data frames. EMP data 1 and EMP data 2 other where you have same columns with same data types but the column sequence is different you see the column sequence is different you have second column as department ID here it is salary now is there a way to combine this type of data frames easily yes spark provides us with union by name which helps us to join two data frames with jumbled sequence but with the same name and same data type for columns let's write EMP fixed equals to emp data one dot union by name and we'll use the second data frame which is emp data to other let's run this awesome if you see both the data frames are now combined and the data is properly organized as per the columns now one more tip for today Spark by default provides one count aggregation based on the data frame level. So consider you need to find the count of the total records for a data frame. You can directly write emp.count. And this will provide you the count of the total number of records in a data frame.
this was all for today see you tomorrow till then keep learning keep growing keep sharing